Hello, my friends, David Kessler here, and welcome back to the studio. And so if you're going to mix violet for painting, do you know which is going to be the best mixture to make? Uh, what are the best paints? Should I use a cool blue? Should I use a warm red? Or maybe I've got that backwards. Maybe it's a warm red and a cool blue. Did I say that the same way? <laughs> maybe it's a cool red and a cool blue or a warm blue. I don't know. But if you don't know, we're going to take a few minutes, we're going to head to the palette, and we're going to show you exactly what's going to work best for the next time that you have to mix violet for a painting. Let's hit the palette. All right, my friends, here we are at the palette. Now let's take a look at what we've got here. Remember, violet is a mixture of blue and red together. So I've got my blues here, my reds here. Now first we're going to go with warm blue. Now what is warm blue? This is ultramarine blue. Right, and ultramarine blue is warm because it has red in it. So it's blue with red in it. Now my cool red is quinacridone magenta, right? It's my absolute favorite color and favorite red. Quinacridone magenta. It's a cool red and it's cool because it has blue in it to cool it. And you can see the difference between the cool red and the warm red. This has blue in it. The warm red, which I'm using CAD medium, Cadmium medium red hue. This has orange in it, right? Now the cool blue, I'm using cerulean blue deep. And cerulean blue is a cool blue. It's blue with green, right? The green is what makes the blue cool. And in this case, the red makes the blue warm, right? Warm blue, cool blue, cool red, warm red. So let's see between these two what happens. So I'm going to pull some blue over. I'm going to grab some red. And we're going to mix this, this up into a beautiful violet. Now listen, mixed violets are always going to look better and feel better and be better than what you get out of a jar. So get used to mixing those because they're always going to be better. And you have more flexibility on the, over the color that you're using. That's a little bit red yet. Put a little bit more blue in it, but look how beautiful and rich and wonderful that violet is. Beautiful. And that's about as vibrant as you're going to get for a violet. Now let's take this other one and see what happens. We'll take some of the cerulean blue deep, a little bit of warm red. You can already see what's gonna happen with this mixture. All right, now let's put a little white in there so we can see what it looks like. Now I'm doing this exercise because I see this all the time. We go over this in every single workshop that I teach because students don't realize how to mix violet. And there you have it. Okay, so let's look at the difference. Beautiful, vibrant, amazing, gorgeous violet. This is sort of a gray, almost a smoky, uh, a smoky, rosy sort of a color, right? And the reason is this is not as vibrant, really is not so much the, the blue that you're using, but the red. So for instance, <clears throat> ultramarine blue is blue, plus red, right? And quinacridone magenta is red plus blue, right? So we already know that violet is blue plus red, and this is blue plus red, and this is red plus blue. So it makes sense that each one of these is already halfway to violet, each one of these colors. So when you combine them together, that's the best, most beautiful violet. Now, cool blue, as we said earlier, is blue plus green. Blue plus green. And cad red is red plus orange. So what happens here? We have blue and orange are complements. So they cancel each other out. And green and red are also complements and they cancel each other out. So what you're left with is this sort of a grayish, grayish violet. 
which for most people is not gonna be the best violet. This, however, yay, that's gonna be your best violet overall to use and to make. This certainly has applications, but more if you're trying to do muted, muted colors. This one, of course, if you're gonna to try to use more vibrant colors and you really want a rich, beautiful, wonderful um, violet. Now, of course, you can add more red and this should be self-evident that you add more red and you get a red violet, right? And you add more blue and you get a blue violet. That's the beauty of these things. They're very flexible. Mixing violet, very wonderful. All right, so we got a beautiful blue violet and a beautiful red violet. All right, hope this was helpful for you and we'll see you on the next video. Thanks.